Hello, and welcome to Gus McDowell's Strategy and Tactics, and thank you to our subscribers. I'm Nick McDowell. Today, we're playing the Battle of Santa Cruz in 1942 Pacific Air War. This is a DOS-based game released in 1994. It is October 1942. The Imperial Japanese Army has invaded Guadalcanal and is fighting the US Marines for control of Henderson Field. To support the Japanese ground offensive, the combined fleet sent naval forces centred on the carriers Shōkaku, Zuikaku and Zuihō in the carrier striking force, and the carrier Junyō in the advance force. The Americans went into battle with two carrier task forces, Task Force 16 with the USS Enterprise and Task Force 17 with the USS Hornet. Most of the action took place northeast of Guadalcanal and north of the Santa Cruz Islands. The Japanese did not lose any surface ships. The Americans lost the carrier USS Hornet. Let's start with the full introduction sequence, then on with the battle. Pacific Air War is both a strategy game and a flight simulator. I'll be playing Carrier Battle, which is the strategy component of the game. We have a choice of five carrier battles. Today, let's play the Battle of Santa Cruz. We can play as the Americans, or as the Japanese. Let's play as the Americans. These are the carrier battle options. As you can see, we've gone for realism, which gives us a score modifier of 2.5. October 26, 1942. You are in command of Task Force 61, the Hornet and the Enterprise. We know that the Japanese carriers are in the Guadalcanal area. You must find and destroy these ships in order to prevent Yamamoto from reinforcing Guadalcanal. If the Japanese fail this time, we've got a good chance of taking the entire island before the end of the year. Here we are, north of the Santa Cruz Islands, part of the New Hebrides chain now known as Vanuatu. It is just past midnight, October 27, 1942. The Solomon Island of Guadalcanal houses Henderson Field. It is home to the 26 Grumman F4F Wildcats of VMF-223 and the 20 Douglas SBD Dauntless Dive Bombers of VMSB-232, the so-called Cactus Air Force. Let's set up an air search for the coming day. We will use 7 SBD, which retains a strike force, and orient the search roughly east-northeast. Let's also set up an air patrol. 10 F4F, just under half our fighter force. The SBD will still need escort fighters. The 
To the southeast is the airbase at Espiritu Santo, part of the New Hebrides Islands. The base is home to the 11th Bomb Group, with 39 B-17 fortresses. And the 32 consolidated PBY Catalinas of the 32nd Scout Group. Let's establish an air search. We will use around half the Catalinas. And search to the northwest. Next, we have Task Group 17 under Rear Admiral Murray. This consists of the aircraft carrier USS Hornet, the heavy cruisers USS Pensacola, and Northampton, the light cruisers USS Juneau, and San Diego, and the destroyers USS Barton. Russell, Muston, Hughes, Anderson, and Morris. The Hornet carries VF-72 with 36 Grumman F-4F Wildcat fighters. VB-8 with 18 Douglas SBD Dauntless dive bombers. VS-8 with 18 Douglas SBD Dauntless scout bombers and VT-6 with 15 Grumman TBF Avengers. Hornet sets an air search with eight planes, roughly north-northwest. And a combat air patrol of 10 F-4F fighters. Next we have Task Force 16, under Rear Admiral Kincaid. This consists of the aircraft carrier USS Enterprise, the battleship USS South Dakota, the heavy cruiser USS Portland, the light cruiser USS San Juan, and the destroyers USS Smith, Maori, Coningham, Shaw, Preston, Marn, Porter, and Cushing. Enterprise is home to VF-10 with 34 Grumman F4F Wildcat fighters, VB-10 with 18 Douglas SBD Dauntless dive bombers, VS-10 with 18 Douglas SBD Dauntless scout bombers, and VT-10 with 12 Grumman TBF Avengers. No need for additional air search. But Enterprise sets up a combat air patrol of 10 F-4F fighters. Both task forces are operating north of the Santa Cruz Islands. The map extends south to the Coral Sea and 20 south, west to the coast of Queensland in Australia, north past New Guinea and the Japanese base at Rabaul, all the way past the equator to 10 north 146 east, and east to 170 east near the international dateline. Not even 3am and scout planes are out and have detected the Japanese fleet. Task Group 17 forms Strike 100. Target selection. We have a bombardment group to the south, six destroyers, three heavy cruisers and two battleships a carrier task force with three carriers and nine destroyers, another task force with six destroyers, one light cruiser and three heavy cruisers, and a fourth task force with four destroyers and one carrier. Let's target the main enemy carriers. All available aircraft. Air combat. One of our search planes is under enemy combat air patrol attack. This confirms the presence of carriers. Task Force 16 forms Strike 101. Also targeting the carriers. All available aircraft.
Henderson Field form Strike 102. Targeting the enemy light carrier with SBD and F4F as a fighter screen. Espiritu Santo forms Strike 103, targeting the battleships with all 39 B-17s. No carriers, so I'm not expecting a combat air patrol. Air combat. One of our search planes is under enemy combat air patrol attack. Air combat. Our combat air patrol has encountered an enemy plane. This must be the Japanese search planes. Air combat. One of our search planes is under enemy combat air patrol attack. Dawn breaks and the strikes are outbound. I briefly glimpse a Japanese strike inbound to Henderson Field. Air combat. An enemy airstrike is attacking one of our combat air patrols. And again. Carrier battle message. The combat air patrol for Henderson Field has been shot down. You need to replace it. Air combat. Our airstrike has encountered an enemy combat air patrol. Air combat. Our airstrike has reached mobile force and is ready to attack. Carrier battle message. Strike 102 attack report. We lost 10 planes. Sunk a destroyer. Hit a carrier. Sunk a destroyer. Hit on a destroyer. Heavy losses, but the hit on the carrier is welcome. Air combat. Our airstrike has encountered an enemy combat air patrol. Air combat. An enemy airstrike is attacking one of our combat air patrols. Carrier battle message. The combat air patrol for Task Group 16 has been shot down. You need to replace it. That's not good. Air combat. An enemy airstrike is attacking one of our combat air patrols. Carrier battle message. The combat air patrol group for Task Group 17 has been shot down. You need to replace it. Also not good. Carrier battle message. Task Group 16 is under attack. We shot down 10 planes. The USS Enterprise sunk. The USS Portland hit. This is terrible. We just lost one of our only two carriers. Carrier battle message. Task Group 16 is under attack. We shot down 14 planes. The USS South Dakota hit. Air combat. Our airstrike has encountered an enemy combat air patrol. A lot turns on the results of this airstrike. Air combat. Our airstrike has reached carrier striking force and is ready to attack. Carrier battle message. Strike 101 attack report. We lost 10 planes. Hit on two carriers. Sunk a carrier. That is very good news. We are now one for one, plus the hits on the other carriers could impact their flight operations. Air combat. Our airstrike has reached carrier striking force and is ready to attack. Carrier battle message. Strike 100 attack report. We lost seven planes. Hit on two carriers. Sunk a carrier and sunk a heavy cruiser. Excellent. So far, two carriers sunk and the remaining carriers damaged. Airstrike 102 summary report. Six fighters shot down, three bombers shot down. Henderson Field immediately forms another strike. Strike 104. Again targeting the light carrier. With all available aircraft. Air combat. Our airstrike has reached vanguard force and is ready to attack. These are the level bombing B-17 from Espiritu Santo. Carrier battle message. Strike 103 attack report. We lost no planes. Sunk a battleship. Wow. Airstrike 100 summary report. Four fighters shot down, two dive bombers shot down, three scouts shot down, two torpedo bombers shot down. Airstrike 101 summary report. Your airstrike has been redirected to USS Hornet. Eight fighters shot down, 11 dive bombers shot down, three scouts shot down, five torpedo bombers shot down. 
heavy losses, but a good result in sinking the carriers. Task Group 16, the USS Enterprise, is sunk. Task Group 16 heads south to Espiritu Santo. Air Combat, one of our search planes is under enemy combat air patrol attack. The light carrier is still active. Task Group 17 forms Strike 105, targeting the remaining carrier. With all available aircraft. Air Combat, our airstrike has encountered an enemy combat air patrol. Air Combat, our airstrike has reached mobile force and is ready to attack. Carrier Battle Message, Strike 102 Attack Report. We lost no planes, hit on two destroyers, and sank the carrier. Outstanding. We are having a great morning. Airstrike 104 Summary Report. Two fighters shot down, no bombers. Airstrike 103 Summary Report. No losses to the B-17s. Henderson Field forms Strike 106. Can't find the light carrier force, so targets the battleship task force. Fighters and bombers. Air combat. Our airstrike has reached carrier striking force and is ready to attack. Carrier battle message. Strike 105 attack report. We lost eight planes, sank a carrier, hit a carrier, hit on a heavy cruiser, hit four destroyers, and sank two destroyers. What a great result! Four carriers sunk so far, not a bad morning's work. Air combat, our airstrike has reached advance force and is ready to attack. Carrier battle message, strike 106 attack report. We lost two planes. Sunk a heavy cruiser, sunk a battleship, another great result. Airstrike 105 summary report. Three fighters shot down, four dive bombers shot down, one scout shot down, two torpedo bombers shot down. Task Group 17 forms Strike 107. Can't find the carriers, so target the battleships. All available aircraft. Espiritu Santo forms Strike 108, also targeting the battleships, with the B-17 level bombers. Airstrike 105 summary report. One fighter shot down, two bombers shot down. Scouts and strikes are out. The carrier group seems to only contain seven destroyers and one heavy cruiser now. Carrier battle message, strike 107 could not find target returning to home base. Air combat, our airstrike has reached vanguard force and is ready to attack. Carrier battle message, strike 108 attack report. We lost no planes, sunk a battleship. The B-17s have had better luck, or maybe longer range. Henderson Field forms strike 109, targeting the advance force. Fighters and bombers.
It is late afternoon. All enemy ships are south of Task Group 17. Time to reset the air search. Airstrike 107 summary report. No losses. Airstrike 108 summary report. No losses. Task Group 17 changes course southeast for the night to get east of the Santa Cruz Islands and slows to 9 knots. Task Group 16 heads southeast and slows to 8 knots. It is after dark and the Catalinas return home. The most recent air searches have the Japanese surface ships heading south. Advance force with six destroyers, one light cruiser, four heavy cruisers and a battleship. The carrier striking force with two destroyers. And vanguard force with seven destroyers, three heavy cruisers and two battleships. October 27, 1942. I'm very impressed with today's results. It seems like I have scored four enemy carriers sunk along with assorted other ships, for the loss of a single US carrier, the Enterprise. The Catalinas increased the number of patrol planes. And adjust their patrol pattern to the northwest. Henderson Field also adjusts the search southeast. Task Group 17 sets an air search. 7 TBF looking south. October 28, 1942. I'm hunting the remnants of the Japanese surface fleet. Dawn breaks and the search planes go out. Contact. Two destroyers. Task Group 17 forms Strike 110, targeting the destroyers. All available aircraft. Overkill, perhaps. Henderson Field already has a strike out, Strike 109. Carrier battle message, Strike 109 could not find target returning to home base. Air combat, our airstrike has reached carrier striking force and is ready to attack. Carrier battle message, Strike 110 attack report, we lost no planes, sunk a destroyer, hit on a destroyer. Airstrike 109 summary report, no losses. Henderson Field forms Strike 111, targeting a single destroyer east of Guadalcanal. Fighters and bombers. Airstrike 110 summary report, no losses.
Task Group 17 forms Strike 112, targeting the advance force. Six destroyers, one light cruiser, four heavy cruisers and a battleship. All available aircraft. Air combat. Our airstrike has reached mobile force and is ready to attack. Carrier battle message. Strike 111 attack report. We lost no planes. Sunk a destroyer. Sunk a carrier. Hit on a destroyer. Welcome news, but I thought I'd already sunk the carrier and encountered no combat air patrol. It might be a mistaken report, or the carrier might have been badly damaged and unable to launch aircraft. Airstrike 111, summary report. No losses. Carrier battle message, Strike 112 could not find target, returning to home base. Out of range, perhaps. Henderson Field forms Strike 113. The Advance Force. Fighters and Bombers. Airstrike 112 Summary Report. No losses. Task Group 17 sets course west and increases speed to 17 knots. It forms Strike 114. Target the Advance Force. All available aircraft. Air Combat. Our airstrike has reached Advance Force and is ready to attack. Carrier Battle Message Strike 113 Attack Report. We lost one plane. Hit on a battleship. Sunk a battleship. Sunk a heavy cruiser. Great work by the Cactus Air Force. Airstrike 113 Summary Report. One bomber shot down. Henderson Field immediately forms Strike 115. Targeting the advance force with fighters and bombers. Carrier battle message, Strike 114 could not find target, returning to home base. Airstrike 114 Summary Report, 6 fighters crashed, 7 dive bombers crashed, 2 scouts crashed, 1 torpedo bomber crashed. Heavy losses. These appear to be operational losses from carrier landings at night under wartime conditions. No doubt someone will write a book about it. Task Group 17 sets course northwest and slows to 9 knots for the night. Henderson Field adjusts its air search northeast. The damaged Task Group 16 sets course west at 8 knots for the night. October 28, 1942 saw great work by the air groups with a number of battleships and destroyers sunk and possibly a carrier. It is only overshadowed by the previous day's success but each encounter confirmed the enemy carriers are out of the battle. Task Group 17 increases speed to 25 knots to begin tomorrow's pursuit. Task Group 17 resets its air search to the west to find the fleeing Japanese advance force.
October 29, 1942. Dawn breaks. At 0500 hours, patrol aircraft set out. Contact. Close by. Task Group 17, Form Strike 116. According to latest reports, the advance force now comprises six destroyers, one light cruiser, and four heavy cruisers. All available aircraft. Henderson Field cancels Strike 1 on 5 and forms Strike 117. The Advance Force? All available aircraft. Air Combat, our airstrike has reached Advance Force and is ready to attack. Carrier Battle Message, Strike 116 Attack Report. We lost six planes. Sunk a battleship, sunk a heavy cruiser, hit on a battleship, hit on a heavy cruiser. Great result. Airstrike 116 summary report. Five fighters shot down, three dive bombers shot down, no scouts shot down, two torpedo bombers shot down. Task Group 17 immediately re-engages and forms Strike 118. Air Combat, our airstrike has reached advance force and is ready to attack. Carrier Battle Message, Strike 117 attack report. We lost no planes, hit on two heavy cruisers. To the south, the Catalinas have detected Vanguard force with seven destroyers, three heavy cruisers and two battleships. Espiritu Santo forms Strike 119 with its level bombing B-17s. Air Combat, our airstrike has reached advance force and is ready to attack. Carrier Battle Message. We lost no planes, hit on a heavy cruiser, hit on a light cruiser, sunk four destroyers and hit two destroyers. What a great result. We are really capitalising on the Japanese defeat of the past two days. Airstrike 118 Summary Report, no losses. Airstrike 117 Summary Report, no losses. Henderson Field, Form Strike 120. We will not let up on the advance force. Task Group 17, Form Strike 121. All aircraft. Air Combat, our airstrike has reached Vanguard Force and is ready to attack. Carrier Battle Message, Strike 119 Attack Report. We lost no planes and sank a battleship. The good news just keeps coming. Carrier Battle Message, Strike 121 could not find target, returning to home base. Carrier Battle Message, Strike 120 could not find target, returning to home base. OK, does this mean we destroyed the advance force? Airstrike 121 Summary Report. No losses. Airstrike 119 Summary Report. No losses to the B-17. Espiritu Santo prepares a follow-up raid on the Vanguard Force. Strike 122. Airstrike 120 Summary Report. No losses. Air Combat. Our airstrike has reached Vanguard Force and is ready to attack. Carrier Battle Message, Strike 122 Attack Report. Our planes did not hit any targets, returning to base. 
tired perhaps. Mid-afternoon, and all planes return to Espiritu Santo. Scouts from Henderson Field go out. Airstrike 122 summary report. No losses. No sign of Japanese surface forces north of Guadalcanal. Vanguard forces heading north, out of the Coral Sea. Night is falling. Task Group 17 sets course southeast and increases speed to 32 knots to intercept the Vanguard force. Task Group 16 sets course north and increases to 16 knots. October 29, 1942, another great day. With the Japanese carriers destroyed, we've inflicted further damage on the Japanese surface fleet for no surface losses of our own. US stings Japanese hard. Japan's latest effort repulsed heavily. How do we do? First the Japanese. Two Shokaku class carriers, the Shokaku and Tsuikaku, both sunk. One Hio class carrier, the Junior, sunk. One Shohor class carrier, the Zuihor, sunk. Four Kongor class battleships, one damaged, two sunk. One Miyoko class heavy cruiser, sunk. Three Takao class heavy cruisers, sunk. Two Mogami class heavy cruisers, one sunk. Two Tone class heavy cruisers, undamaged. Two Nagara class light cruisers, one sunk. Three Shiratsuyu class destroyers, all sunk. 21 Kagero class destroyers, 14 sunk. And one Akizuki class destroyer, sunk. Next the Americans. Two Yorktown class carriers, one sunk, the Enterprise. One South Dakota class battleship, damaged. One Pensacola class heavy cruiser, undamaged. One Northampton class heavy cruiser, undamaged. One Portland class heavy cruiser, damaged. Three Atlanta class light cruisers, undamaged. One Porter class destroyer, undamaged. Six Marne class destroyers, undamaged. One Gridley class destroyer, undamaged. Five Sims class destroyers, undamaged. And one Benson class destroyer, undamaged. Final score, ship points 4,304, plane points 1,050, no invasion points, modifier 8,031, for a final score of 13,385, and the win. In previous battles, I've held my own with tactical victories, but I've not had the same success as the historical outcome. In particular, I've not sunk enemy carriers on a scale that counts as an operational victory. But this battle, the Battle of Santa Cruz, is my midway. Four enemy carriers sunk, along with assorted other ships, for the loss of a single US carrier, the Enterprise. This will change the balance of power in the Pacific War. In real life, of course, it was the Hornet that was lost. The Enterprise came under heavy air attack, but survived. In the next episode, we will play the Battle of the Philippine Sea, better known as the Great Marianas Turkey Shoot. 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and donate, and stay tuned for the next episode.